Okay, you may want to sit over here because you're going to need to be able to see the screen here. Either that or you'll have to turn your head around to be able to see what's happening. Because I've got something I want you to see, and I want, to, want you to, to be very observant this morning. First of all, look at this bird that's here. Okay, I want you to get a good look at him, and we'll start the video in just a little bit. They're not going to move, but we'll go from picture to picture. I want you to look at that bird. What, do you, what color is he? Yeah, red and gray. So remember that about him, because I'm going to talk about some different... We're going to see some different ones in there, maybe, as we go. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, so that uh, I want you to tell me when a picture of a different kind of bird or a bird that looks different comes up. So go ahead and push the start button and there we go. Okay, so they'll start changing here pretty quick. This is a, this is a house finch. Now if you look around your yard and if you don't see a house finch, maybe you don't live in a house, I don't know. But they're all over the place. When I put my feeder out for the birds, uh, they come around a lot, and some of them have a little bit of yellow on them, but now we're going to start, we're going to look and see if you see some different ones. He's got, he's mainly red, but a little bit of yellow on him, right? So that's probably the same kind of bird. What about this next one that comes up? Uh -huh. That's a female, you got it, that's the same bird. Ah, uh, this one's all red, and the house finches, they're all over the place. What about this one, though? That's not a finch, is it? That's a titmouse. Okay, and they don't come around very often. Only certain times a year. But now we're back. There's another house finch. I, wanna, I want you to notice when we see a different kind of bird because I want to talk to you about different kinds of people. Is this one a house finch? No, I think that's a wren of some sort. He only came around for a couple of days and he was trying to get, see, he's sitting on that string. How about that one? <laughs> that's a red-tailed hawk like the one if some of you remember when I showed you the nest with all the hawks in it. What about that one? That's a house finch again, isn't it? What about that one? <laughs> That's an owl, isn't it? He looks a little bit angry, doesn't he? Uh, kind of frowning at us. He might be looking for something to eat. What about that one? Yeah, you see, some of them aren't quite as red as the other ones. And he's got a little bit of yellow and orange and so forth on him. What about that one? Another kind of an owl, isn't it? You know why owls have such big eyes? So they can see in the dark. You're absolutely right. That's a barn owl there. And he, his eyes aren't quite as big, but they're still pretty big eyes. What about this next bird that comes up? What do you think about him? Well, here he is. What about him? That's probably a house finch again, isn't it? Mainly red with a little bit of orange on him. What about this next one? Hmm, what is that? Well, what do you think? Does he have any red on him? He's all yellow. And when I looked up house finch in my bird book, it said house finch males are almost always red, maybe with a little bit of orange, but very rarely they're yellow. Now, do you suppose the other birds make fun of him because he's yellow instead of red? <laughs> you think they do? You think maybe they... They don't let him play. Well, he must have found a mate because this, that was from last year. This year, I have this one around. And notice he's got quite a bit of yellow on him, but he's also got some red. It's a different bird, but he must be the son of the one that was all yellow. I haven't seen the all yellow one again. I don't know where he went. But I wanted to show you these different kinds of birds because all these finches, they all come to my feeder and they all hang out in the same trees. And I haven't seen them making fun of the other one just because he's a little bit different. And today we have communion in church. And Jesus took his disciples who were all a little bit different and he got them all to come and eat at the same table and share a meal. And that's something we can do too. We can be that way with people. If somebody's a little bit different, we don't chase them away or make them feel bad just because they're a little bit different. Communion teaches us all to come together to share in Jesus. Thanks for coming down for the story. You can go back to your seat. We have some papers here to read.